Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm doing, I'm doing a video guide on how to create a um, DIY um, outdoor setup for your helium miners. I'm going to go through step by step how I've done it, uh, what parts you need and where you can get them. Um, because when the weather, I don't know if you can see it, but it's raining right now. <laughs> so um, when the weather is like this, you want to have a secure setup so that your equipment does not get damaged. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So I am here on the computer where I have um, taken some notes about the parts that I need for the outdoor setup. So as you can see here, I wrote down that I need a case. This needs to be waterproof. Um, I did find a really good one on Amazon. This is the one I bought. A, a junction box where you can pick your size that you need. Um, and it is uh, waterproof. It has some inline um, in the cover that makes sure that water or moisture will not get inside. Um, as you can see, it's IP65, which is, I think it's decent, it will work. It has been working for me for months. So um, as long as you make sure that you screw the, uh, the screws on proper, properly, you probably shouldn't have a problem. Um, then you need a Wi-Fi repeater, or at least I did. Um, I did not want to use power over ethernet because I needed power inside the box anyways. So I used a Wi-Fi repeater that can take a Ethernet plug and put it into the miner um, to make it wired. Because I think that you should connect every single miner with a Ethernet connection. Um, for that, I went with this one, the um, TP-Link, TL. Um, and it works great. As you can see, you have a Ethernet, um, Ethernet plug right here, which makes sure that you can connect your miner with a wired mode. And then this uh, device here will handle all the, the Wi-Fi, um, which is working great. And it's not, it's not very expensive. Um, yep. And then what's next on the list? You need a cable so and an antenna. So I've been shopping at Minor Pro because it's EU based and I uh, have a contact uh, with one of the owners. Um, and I think it's actually really great antennas. They are shipped from Sweden and they are made specifically for EU and when you buy it you get a uh, certificate that it's uh, the proper unit that you've received. So for that I bought this cable which is a low loss uh, LMR400 and you can pick any length that you need or want and the connectors for your miner and your antenna. And then for the miner I picked the 4dbi fiberglass antenna, uh, EU version obviously. And the reason I needed 4dbi is simply because that fits my use case. Now, if you don't know what DBI you need, there's plenty of information on the internet where you can search and find information on how to estimate what kind of DBI you need. Um, all right, so what's next? Um, we need a power brick and a power cable. I'm going to buy that at a local hardware store and then you need a fan. I bought it actually at a local store, but I found it on Amazon as well. Now, you don't need a fan, and it also depends on your miner and your setup, but I wanted a, a fan to cool my components because I'm preparing this box for the summertime. And when this box is closed up, there's no way that air can get inside it. Um, that way I ensure that no moisture, moisture or water can get inside. So when there's no air inside it, the air doesn't get like exchanged out. So I think it's important to have an internal fan that pushes air around and moves it away from the hot components on your miner. So I went with this one because it's small and it fits my uh, miner. I will show you uh, a 3D print that I uh, printed. Um, yeah, I will show you in this video just in a little bit. Um, so let's take a look at the rest of the list. So you need a five volt boost converter, maybe a USB charger. Um, that is to power this fan. I will show you how I did it later. Um, and then you will probably need a one meter pole or whatever you want to do, like to mount it. Um, I'm just going to go to a local hardware store and buy a pole and that should be fine. Um, so yeah, that is all the components that you need for this uh, specific um, setup that I'm showing here. Um, so yeah, I think I will show every individual component now and kind of show you how I'm going to put them together. So yeah, thank you. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I have the fan for the server. I have the outdoor boxing here that will be our water enclosure. 
And if we take a look inside, here is the TP-Link um, access point that will turn the Wi-Fi into the uh, cable connection. Here is a, a moisture um, collector. It will collect moisture if anything should build up in the case. It's just a safety um, that I decided to add. Then I have some mountings for the antenna clamps. I got the power supply for the uh, rack miner. I got a USB 5 volt uh, adapter. And for this adapter, I'm gonna be using um, this boost converter right here, which takes um, five volts, as you can see, uh, 5.2 volts and 0 0.11 amps. And it boosts up to 12 volts so that this fan can actually spin around. Um, and that will act as the cooling for the, um, the rack miner. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cooling on now and I will show you the finished result. All right, so as you can see, I have just mounted the fan on the rack miner. It's just uh, screwed in place. It has these rubber grommets. Um, so it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna push the cold air in and out from the sides. So yeah, it's very nice. The way that it is mounted is that I uh, 3D printed this lid that I found in Tingverse that is made for the rack miner with the uh, holes that fits for an a 60 millimeter uh, fan. So that was very easy. Uh, it fits perfectly, as you can see. All right, so as you can see, I'm in the process of making a hole in the box because this end of the antenna needs to go through the box. So once I've made this hole, I will put the antenna in, uh, measure the length that I need inside of the box, and then I'll put some, um, some gel and some glue that will seal the hole right here. So yeah, I'm gonna finish drilling this hole. All right, so as you can see, this hole got uh, pretty uh, pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to put the antenna inside of this hole. All right, so as you can see, this hole from Miner Pro actually fits perfectly in this hole. So I'm gonna do like this, and I'm gonna put this glue and gel here so that it seals up. Right guys, so I went ahead and they got a power outlet into the miner uh, case itself. Um, I did make another hole, as you can see right here, um, poking through the top, and then I ran the wire and I just simply unscrewed this, so um, it was able to fit through the hole. So now we got power inside the box. All right, so as you can see now, this is back together, ready to be plugged in, and we got power in the box. All right, so here it is, everything's in the box. We got the USB powered fan over here. We got the helium miner, the power plug, the moisture uh, collector, the wireless to ethernet port. And then down here, we got a smart plug, which makes it sure that I can remote control the miner and turn on and off. We got the antenna going out and we got power going in. So what is left now is to install it put on the antenna, turn it on, and make some PNT. Thank you so much guys for watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure to make this video. Uh, it was really, really fun. And I did get a lot of people asking how to do a DIY enclosure. So here it is. This will work great. We got waterproof box. It has, uh, as you can see, rubber to keep out moisture. So perfect. All I gotta do is close up these holes plug it in, get earning. Thank you guys. All right, so I did just wanna show that I sealed it with glue and I'm gonna put the gel on right now. Uh, I realized that it was best to include it in the video. I did the same with the antenna and I did it both on the inside and the outside. So yeah, now I'm gonna put the gel on. All right, uh, now I'm gonna seal uh, this part here and this part here with some gel that will silicone, that will protect it from uh, water. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that real quick. All right, and uh, just like that, I put the silicone on the uh, wires and I put it right here next to the hot radiator so that it can dry until tomorrow when tomorrow is uh, the install day that I'm gonna install this hotspot. Um, so that was the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.